You may have heard this one before, but not like this. Due to problems in production, I decided to remaster the first three episodes of Are We Live? For those who haven't heard the show before, hi, I'm Julian Myers, I'm the creator of the show. The original three episodes will remain where they are. To help correct uh, the story, there have been lines added and lines re-recorded for viewer benefit. Now, let's get on with the episode. This is the retelling of the lives of free intergalactic merchants who, at this stage, are in the most ill start of situations on the most unexpected planet. They have survived an incredibly destructive crash of their starship, though they have no injuries. A basic habitat unit has been set up for their temporary settlement on this planet of red sand, rocky mountains, and unknown possibilities. Starring Ryan Avon as Colin, the engineer and co-pilot, Colin is a man of little worry as he prefers to get things finished quickly. Secondly, there is Pablo Richardson, who plays Mark, the sometimes slow but mostly disturbing janitor of the crew. Finally, there is Anna Yu, who plays Jane, the girl of limited, mostly plan-related interests. She's also a sociopathic medic. That's enough of an introduction. Welcome to your fate. Now is your time to question, are we alive? First, it was Alpha Delta, then Sigma Prime. Now we're here. Where even is here? Huh? Looks like we don't know. Well, it's official. We're trapped! Suck it up, Colin. At least we have enough resources to get by. Jane's not wrong. The crash only cleared her storage bay. When am I ever wrong, Mark? Well, do you remember those vines back on Centro? If you're gonna mention those vines again, then I'll leave you to clean up this scrap heap of mess. Listen to the two of you in Bickering. Can, can we get a move on? This catastrophe won't clean itself. Trust me, Colin. Nothing ever cleans itself. Ever. <sighs> Thank God we have to set up a basic hab with our resources and beautiful hair. You mean the basic automatic setup hab kit? The one that's mandatory for any interstellar starship to possess? Yeah, what else? I was just making sure that you weren't bragging to no one again. What do you mean, no one? You two are here. And where is here? I've never seen this planet before. Judging by the lack of life, I don't think anyone else has either. Maybe lads could tell us. Or the ship's AI. You mean, the dead captain and the destroyed AI. Exactly. Now let's just get back to work, shall we? If we don't have this ship back in order by tomorrow, I won't be very happy. <sighs> when are you ever happy? Why do I have to be stuck here? Me, of all people. You're not the only one here, hon. And unsurprisingly, not the only one who's too impatient to get off this planet. Yeah, Jane. We're in this together until we can get home. Whenever that is. Here are some basic shipwreck guidelines we should stick to. We must stick together at all times. We must not be greedy with food. And let's not try to fight with one another. What if someone who we don't know lands here? I think we should be peaceful. Because they might be our way off this boring... Desolate, isolated rock hanging in the midst In my of opinion, we need a leader to take charge in such situations. I vote myself. Of course you do. Hmm. Come to think of it, you probably are our best chance at diplomacy with others. What about my majestic voice? I have the persona of a leader. And anyway, I'm a janitor. Janitor's always nice. But you could be the flirt if we need. Really? The flirt? I don't see why not. What else could we do with your so-called majestic voice? <sighs> Fine. Alright, I give up. I'm done with this disaster of a ship. I'm heading back to the hub. I need to make sure my plants are okay. Do you expect me to clean up this mess for you, princess? You can do what you want. Have a break. I'm not stopping you. Agreed, even though I'd love to get this over and done with. Look, Colin, we'll come back later. Search what's left in the cockpit for the transmission console and bring it back to base. That will help us establish contact with headquarters. Will that satisfy you? What do you think I've been trying to do for the last 12 hours? Look for Mr. Snuggles, my cuddle buddy. Uh, yeah. Kind of. Personal items are a necessity sometimes. Let's go then. This episode is proudly brought to you by... 
Are you hip to be square? Are you fond of neckbeards? Are you looking for the newest styles? Are you an alpha male? Then buy a fedora today. Make all the beta males jealous. Cheap and easy to wear. Find one at your local $2 store today. Why did we set up the hub so far from the ship? Ah yes, of course. A hundred feet from the crash site is the safest distance from the site so we don't get killed if the ship explodes in a fiery blaze of glory. A hundred feet in meters is what? Uh, thirty meters? And how did you know that this is the safest and closest? Basic physics. Or chemistry. Or chemistrysics. I don't remember. Nonetheless, there is a very low level of oxygen here on Birdo 3, so any explosion wouldn't expand very far. Wait a second. Birdo 3? Uh, yeah, name of the planet. So, you actually know where we are? <laughs> Not at all. Just named it that. Why Birdo 3? Well, it's uh, based on a planet I read about. It's very similar to this planet. Arid desert, mostly unknown and unexplored. Well, that's one detail. Life. You make life sound so wonderful. What book did you read it in? If it's a real name for an actual planet, then you can't call this Birdo 3. Well, how do I explain this? It's the name of a fake planet from a book called A Guide to the Mario World. I mean, I mean Star Wars Universe, second edition. Doesn't that involve a copyright infringement? Not, not really. Star Wars was made over a thousand years ago. Then how do you know about it? Unless it's aged so finely like myself. It was very, very popular. So, not like myself. Damn. Now, I think there's something off about that statement. Oh, I know. It's probably because you're a massive nerd, Colin. But, d uh, mm, so, so what if I am? If it wasn't for Star Wars, then I wouldn't be here. Damn it, Star Wars. What was that? Uh, nothing. I'm gonna make some lunch and then clean the toilets. Because, you know, all I ever do is clean. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm gonna go feed my plants. <laughs> Do I mind if I put on my radio show? It's... Stop listening, I'm talking, right? Yes. It's their new trilogy called, um... Non-Cat Attacks. Sounds like it'll make a fine addition to the show. Go for it. I'd love to hear someone else's voice. Ah, oh, it's destroying the city! We have to stop it and save the citizens! Is that a person on its head? Mwahahahaha! <laughs> She looks a little too happy for someone who's riding on the back of a giant young cat. You can say that again. There must be some way to stop this almighty meme. You know, I heard that to destroy such a horrible creature, we would need music. It must be meme-related music like itself. What would it be? Poor sort. The Rick Roll. Oh hell, that's my weakness too. Dude, it's easily everyone's weakness. Where do we find this horror? Only one person. One whose name has been passed down through the millennia in ancient scriptures and passages from generation to generation brought down. His name is York. Why this music, though? Such a particular song must be some important somehow. Did you not hear what I said before? Young cat feeds off annoyance. Its, its weakness is something that is more annoying than itself. For, for example... The Rick Roll. Afraid so. A.K.A. Well, I said earlier, but I, I won't put that against you. Stay tuned for the thrilling second part of this undefinably epic trilogy! I guess we'll wait till tomorrow to listen to the second part. We could just listen to it now, you know. You, you downloaded the whole miniseries, remember? That's true. And I could, but... No. I'm not one to binge. It's an unhealthy habit, you see. And no one likes unhealthy habits. Fine, fine. Also, I'm finished with my lunch now. Time to clean the donuts. Has to be somewhere on this ship. Damn it, Lance, what the hell did you do in here? What caused you to crash this hunk of metal? Beep. Bop. Beep. Har. I'm joking but seriously, what is this? Am I really back? That's awesome. Now, which fool woke me up? Hi, I'm Julian Myers and I'm the creator of the show. It's also written and directed by myself. This show is produced by Tia Teller and myself. 
Anna Yu played Jane, Pablo Richardson played Mark, and Ryan Avid played Colin. Louis Azuda Grundy was the voice of our sponsor, and I was the announcer for the miniseries. In Neon Cat Attacks, Anna played Evil Girl on Neon Cat, Pablo played Pablo, Ryan played Ryan, and I played Julian. Creative, I know. You can find this podcast on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash telecreations, previously called Are We Live Podcast. Follow us on Twitter at Are We Live Radio. And you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Are We Live Podcast, or even facebook.com forward slash telecreations. You can email us at Are We Live Podcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>